Hey guys, I'm S. Dan Wolf. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome if you're new. Don't forget to subscribe if you're in any way interested in Planet Zoo content. That's what we absolutely cover the most here on the channel as of right now. And we are at the very end of a DLC cycle. Uh, literally could be any day now. We'll get some news on whatever the next cycle is going to be. And we kind of always do this to ourselves. We get to the end of a cycle and instead of like, you know, working on zoos that we may have been working on for like the last two years, sometimes you just get the inspiration. You get that jolt of, I need something new. I need a clean slate. I have to start over. Uh, and that is kind of where Little Creek was born. This idea has kind of, it's been in my head for a while, but I just, um, you know, we've kind of got other things going on. We've got Lost Creek, Pine Creek, Little Creek, <laughs> uh, Suyana, and uh, this is actually my buddy Bold. Uh, everybody gets on to me because every one of my zoos, if you're new to the channel, usually has creek somewhere in it. And uh, Lion Rider and everybody said they're going to kill me if I do one more zoo and have creek in it. Uh, but so this is kind of like a little bit of a, um, a, a cheeky name for this farm, but at the same time, it's actually kind of charming. And that's what it is. That's what this whole project is. It is actually a, it's a farm over a zoo. So my thought of this would be, it's a working farm like a family actually lives here, but it's one of those deals where they take in animals from either like, you know, uh, that have been hurt or don't have zoos to go to or other places don't have the room for, or I figure too, it could be a play, it could be like a transitory stop. Maybe it's a place that animals can come to while like uh, an exhibit is being built at wherever they're gonna go, like their forever home or whatever. So that is kind of the idea of this place. It's a working farm, but they let people come in and buy tickets and you can come and see the animals. And of course it helps them take care of the animals, feed them, house them, veterinary care. And uh, they, they just kind of, they live out here on Little Creek Farm. And uh, the first little animals you'll come up to, you actually don't even need a ticket to. Um, you can come over here on your lunch break and you can see Big Bob, Trina, and Patricia. These are, we call her Trish for short. Uh, these are our little koala bears. So they stay right here at the entrance of the farm. And so we've got them a little indoor, kind of like a little indoor outdoor area. Have them their little feeding tree and some little climbing posts. <laughs> Look at her fuzzy little ears. So this is another thing, guys, where you all are gonna have to help me not think in terms of Disney budget, Animal Kingdom budget, Zoo Knoxville. This is really going to be in the vein of they use their resources from the farm and that's what they use to create the exhibits. It's like Bold said. Bold was saying some of these, um, like some of these exhibits can look like they, they put it together like with a Home Depot credit card because there was an animal that needed a place to stay and we have to get this built. And uh, so yeah, that is kind of the vein of this. It's it's not as like they're they're so broke the animals can't get fed, but we're not talking about a real like you know AZA accredited Animal Kingdom type vibe. We are talking um, you know roadside farm type vibe. Um, then simply Savannah came in. The actual first exhibit is. Uh, our Great Horned Owl Implied Exhibit. So this, if we ever get owls one day, this is where Stan and Kyle will stay. And look, she even put the little hinges on the doors. I love that little touch. So the keepers can kind of get in there and help out and feed and clean and all of that with Stan and Kyle. But yeah, that is like our little, kind of like her little aviary she built me. And we, we kind of put it up on a little hill. That was another thing I wanted to try to do with this farm, with this farm like zoo setting is kind of raise up the terrain a little bit, play with that more because when Remnant and J. Ash and Wyatt Workshop, when those guys get in there and they do that raise terrain on these exhibits and their designs, it just looks so much better than when I leave things 
just completely flat. Like, remember, that's how that's how Lost Creek started. That's how Pine Creek started. Everything was really, really flat. So this time with Little Creek, I want to bring in some elevation. And, uh, and then, of course, we have actual Little Creek uh, coming through here. And I've used some blueprints, too. Um, this was, uh, I just noticed this, like, on the top of the workshop. This was a... Uh, a little um, Nordic type sign stand, but I felt it fit. I felt it fit the farm vibe. Well, say that really quick. I felt it fit the farm vibe. <laughs> really, really good. Um, let me make sure I give a proper shout out for that. Like I said, I I literally just downloaded that, and it was really, really fun. Cavalier lady, she uh, she told me to doubt. She's messaged me after. Uh, the stream yesterday and said some of her Victorian houses have some really good rocking chairs. So we got to give a shout out to her. Um, we used her rocking chairs over on the farmhouse. I'll show you. Um, let's see. Where is this little guy? I love the mossy kind of overgrown look that they have going on kind of above the signage. don't see it just right off but that was really 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 good design I think it just fits the farm vibe really really well let's do one more little pass through and see if I can let's see if I can spot it but yes even if we don't that is a uh, that is a really, really fun little blueprint. I've got to go through and get rid of some of these that I actually don't use anymore, or maybe only used them for one little project. I'm using some of these uh, these flowery canoes from Miss Queen. They're really, really cool. Kind of use those in front of the house, but yeah, I don't um, I don't see that right off, guys. But I will have to find that for you and we'll give them a shout out in the next episode for sure Let's see if it just comes up in sign no nope, must have called it something else but yeah really really good job on that uh coming up next we've got the southern cassowary we've got thelma and louise these are my these are the two girls here right when you come in and you're making your way towards the farmhouse and I wanted to give these, I wanted to give these animals, like all of them, like we'll do Bob and Trina and Trish. Um, I wanted to give them all little backstories, but I figure one cool thing would be like Thelma and Louise was like, we could say they are, they escaped from somebody's house or something. Like they were pets and they escaped and they finally, uh, they were captured and they made their way here to uh, Little Creek. So yeah, I thought that would be, be a fun little Fun little spot for these guys. Whoop. They're always hanging out together. Um, and then I brought in the big old Wumba tree. I thought that just, I always think of it as like, like that is just almost like a, I look at it as almost like a cool oak tree, you know? And we've got some uh, seating underneath it, underneath its shade. And then kind of the first big structure you come to is actually the people's house. So this is the this is the little couple's this is the little family's house and they actually live here on the farm and work here. And and lucky luckily enough they let people come in and see the animals and all of that stuff. So this is the farmhouse and these are the little rocking chairs that I that I swiped from Cavalier Lady. Really really awesome on those. And we've got a little back balcony over here. Haven't finished the back yet, but we also have a little farm or like a little uh, a little garden off to the side of the house, which somebody looks like they really need to come pick these tomatoes and watermelon. So yeah, that's like they're just little, that's their little personal garden. And still got some work to do on the uh, on the farmhouse, but it is coming along really, really good. Um, Cybers and... Uh, and a couple people, Claire, they were saying that we needed a big tree right here. But before this morning, that point actually came out to about right here and went back. And they were right. It was too much space without, with, you know, without any type of foliage there or height. So what I did was I brought the fence back 
and put Miss one of Miss Queen's uh, canoes right here with the uh, flowers inside it and just brought the fence back and now I think it looks a lot, lot better. Um, in the next stream, we'll probably get in and start uh, decorating the, this part of the creek as it sits off to the house. This is like your little parking area. So like I said, nothing major. It's gravel parking. You get over here, you park, you stop over here at this little ticket shed and buy your ticket. And then you make your way into the farm um, where eventually we'll have, I wanna have like, you know, farm operating buildings, sheds, uh, black bears. We may do cougars. Uh, we'll do all kinds of little, we'll do all kinds of little animals. And they don't have to be necessarily, I mean, with like even with the cassowaries and the, and the koalas, I'm not limiting it to, you know, North American animals. It's just kind of like Little Creek takes whatever they can help out with that they think they have the facilities for, you know. And we can do some habitats maybe that are under construction, uh, maybe we can do a little alligator habitat. Well, there's all kinds of stuff we can do. Uh, maybe I can even bring in, you know, who's, you know, who's really, really good at builds like this, like smaller, low budget, intimate type builds, BZ. I could bring in BZ builds and, um, and maybe even Wyatt and see if those guys will do me, uh, maybe they can do me some smaller little, um, you know, low budget type farm builds. And then of course, Beyond Drew too said he would be sending me uh, some blueprints to try as well. But you know, even with the, with the low theming, um, it's still fun to kind of get in here and just like work on this whole nature vibe, you know? Like you can't tell the stories with like massive facades, but we can still make it look cool. Like as far as the creeks and stuff go and and the bridges and that creek interaction, and uh, and also like we mentioned with the uh, with the terrain and the mountains we'll have in here, even the mountains way in the backdrop. Like, wouldn't this be a really really pretty farm setting? That's why I was just thinking, you know, it would. It, this is just such a such a fun little idea to try, and also too to keep it more realistic, uh, more low budget and not try to go, um, not try to go really, really, uh, hyper fantasy, you know. So, but anyways, guys, yeah, I'm going to jump on out of here. I just wanted to give you a, a quick little start, a quick little first view of Little Creek and see what you guys think. And, uh, hopefully, uh, like I said, we'll be up on the news with, uh, whatever's coming our way with respect to new DLC, uh, possibly coming very, very soon. At least where we're thinking it is, we're hoping it is. But uh, yeah, so if you, anyway, if you end up liking this video, don't forget to smash the like button and uh, subscribe to keep up with all of this Planet Zoo mischief. And yeah, I will catch you guys in the next video. Thank you. See you.